Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Joe Davis. It is my duty to inform you, the GWA audience, that the events that transpired in the closing minutes of last week's episode were not a part of the show. The comments and actions of Owen Gerald Sexton were completely out of line, they were disrespectful, and they were unprofessional. The subsequent actions taken by GWA President Mr. Scott Buckley were not a part of the show. However, given the level of disrespect and unprofessionalism shown by Mr. Sexton, those actions will stand. Mr. Scott Buckley stripped Mr. Sexton of the GWA World Heavyweight Championship and terminated his contract with Global Wrestling Alliance. Global Wrestling Alliance would like to apologize for Mr. Sexton's comments and actions, and he will never again be mentioned on any future GWA programming. and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of GWA Supercharge. I am Joe Davis, and for the first time in GWA history, we are without a World Heavyweight Champion. But tonight, we begin the process of fixing that. We are on the road to crown a brand new World Heavyweight Champion. Tonight, we will have two different four-man battle royals. The winners of those battle royals will face off tonight in our main event. The winner of this main event match here tonight will advance to the championship match at Star Spangled Beatdown. Next week, we will rinse and repeat that same process and the two winners that advance will face off to become the brand new World's Heavyweight Champion. We're going to start out with the very first of those four-man battle royals right now. And the first combatant in our first four-man over-the-top battle royal, Mr. Amazing Ray Snyder. And um, we know what had happened last week. We know that GWA President Scott Buckley had the World Heavyweight Championship vacated. So, in order to crown a brand new World Heavyweight Champion, that's uh, the reason for these Battle Royals. The reason that we will have those two winners face off and we'll, we'll have a championship match at Star Spangled Beatdown. Here comes combatant number two. What an opportunity this is for the youngster, the lightning kid, Justin Reed. And Justin Reed stepping into the ring for his first of two matches here tonight. He's also scheduled for one-on-one -on -one action a little bit later on. We'll talk about that later on in the evening. But if he wins this battle royal, well, then he'll be going to the main event as well. And he could be pulling triple duty here tonight. Could be a long night for Justin Reed. And from Salem, Oregon, weighing in at 273 pounds, prime time, Carl Thompson. And now 
making his way down to the ring, a former world's heavyweight champion, prime time Charles Thompson. And you got to believe this man, he is driven. There's no doubt about that. He's got a taste of the gold. He's got a taste of what it's like to be standing on top of the mountain. And this is his opportunity to scale the mountain once again and stand tall over the wrestling world. And the final competitor in our first four-man over-the-top battle royal, making his way to the ring. One half of the Eliminators, Vince Dixon getting his opportunity to become World's Heavyweight Champion as well. And so that is proof that not only are single competitors competing to try to make it to that World Heavyweight Championship match, but even individuals in the tag team division have been selected for these battle royals that will take place tonight and next week. So we could wind up with a new world's champion that's in the tag team division. So things really going to be shaken up due to this world heavyweight championship scene. And Ray Snyder and Vince Dixon have paired off along with Charles Thompson and Justin Reed. Ray Snyder. Stomping away at Vince Dixon in the corner. Flapjack by Charles Thompson. And Justin Reed is in all kinds of trouble. And prime time. Feeling confident in this match. Snyder pouring on the punishment to Vince Dixon now. They try to follow this action the best we can. Dixon over to the ropes and Snyder close line over the top and to the floor. Vince Dixon has been eliminated and Snyder, Snyder took his eye off of his opponent and over the top rope. But Snyder is able to kick Thompson right in the face and he's able to save himself. Snyder up against the rope, close over the top into the floor and already we're down to two. Vince Dixon eliminated by Ray Snyder. Ray Snyder eliminated by Charles Thompson and we are down to prime time Charles Thompson and the lightning kid, Justin Reed. One of these two men will head to tonight's main event for an opportunity to make it all the way to the main event of Star Spangled Beatdown here in a uh, little over a week and a half. Justin Reed doing everything he can to fight back. Scoop by Thompson. Elbows by Reed trying to get out of that predicament. Clubbing blow by Charles Thompson. And Thompson now hooks Reed up on the shoulders. Windmill cutter by Charles Thompson. Thompson now with Reed, and Reed over the top rope into the floor, and it's over. A recap here quickly, Vince Dixon eliminated by Ray Snyder. A few moments later, Snyder was then eliminated by Charles Thompson. And then Thompson, with the windmill cutter, was able to do enough damage to send Justin Reed over the top. So Charles Thompson is heading to our main event. Here is your winner, Prime Time Charles Thompson. Prime Time Charles Thompson, one step closer to once again becoming the world's heavyweight champion. But who will join him in tonight's main event? We will find out a little bit later on because later on is the second of that four-man battle royal. 
And you see the combatants there. Not only that, we have uh, Justin Reed scheduled to go one-on-one -on -one with Alexander Sokolov. And we understand that Arthur Caldwell will be here later on tonight to address the allegation made against him last week. He will uh, clear all of that up later on tonight. But coming up next, we have one-on-one -on -one action as the superstar Hallie Nolan squares off with Whitney Duncan. for one-on-one -on -one action here tonight. Nolan is the number one contender for the GWA Women's World Championship, currently in the possession of Wild Thing Tammy Mullins. There's an incident last week between Mullins and Nolan's opponent, Lacey Evans. They collided on the outside of the ring. But this week, Hallie Nolan must contend with this young lady, Whitney Duncan, and looking to continue her momentum, heading towards her Women's World Championship match. And that match will also be coming up at Star Spangled Beatdown. Nonetheless, Hallie Nolan cannot look past her opponent here tonight. And here we go. The superstar Hallie Nolan against Whitney Duncan. The bell sounds and we're underway. Lock up, neither one of these ladies able to gain the advantage until then. And look at this. Hooks her up at the Northern Lights for the bridge. Well, no, not even the one. The official took a moment to get into position there, but a perfectly executed Northern Lights suplex by Whitney Duncan. And now Duncan in control of the superstar. Down across the arm and the shoulder joint. It's a good way to dislocate a shoulder. Sweeps the leg, does Hallie Nolan. And Nolan... It's gonna take a breather, gonna get on the outside of the ring to break up the momentum of Whitney Duncan. No doubt also probably trying to get in the head of Whitney Duncan, try to throw her off of her game. Duncan goes after her, now Nolan back into the ring and against the ropes, and Nolan with the right hand, right hand by Duncan, ducks under the clothesline and another delivered by Duncan. And back to the outside is Hallie Nolan. Wait, wait a second. And Tammy Mullins, Tammy Mullins is here, sending Hallie Nolan back into the ring. And Nolan is a little off of her game here at this point. Sent right back into the waiting arms of Whitney Duncan by the women's world champion, Tammy Mullins. And Whitney Duncan looking to take advantage of the situation. Submission hold here. But Hallie Nolan able to get near the ropes. The rope break called by the official. But Nolan has been rocked. Northern light suplex. And Whitney Duncan up to the top. Frog splash by Whitney Duncan. One, two, three. And Whitney Duncan is going to take this one, but give an assist to the women's world champion, Tammy Mullins. Hallie Nolan trying to take a breather. Hallie Nolan sent back into the ring by Tammy Mullins. And Whitney Duncan would capitalize with the frog splash, capitalize in a big way and gain the victory. Here is your winner, Whitney Duncan. 
Well, that's going to uh, add another layer of uh, a little bit more heat between these two. I'm talking about uh, Hallie Nolan and Tammy Mullins. Uh, coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, the second of our four-man battle royals. Willie Jones, Ivar, Gavin Briggs, and Sergio Don... Wait a minute. I hear something's going on backstage. Donda... Donda Langer's being assaulted backstage by Luther Isaac, sent right into the, the concrete wall there by Pitbull Luther Isaac. We need to get some security back there. Luther Isaac with Sir... No, no! Power slam through the table and right into the steel chairs. Well, somebody get back there. Now, Luther Isaac now with a chair. Sergio Dondelinger defeated Luther Isaac last week. And then a shot right to the head. Luther Isaac is assaulting Sergio Dondelinger. No! My God! Well, Luther Isaac has done the damage and he has left the fighting Irishman in a heap backstage. Well, somebody get some help back there for Sergio. Well, while we're getting some medical personnel to the back to tend to Sergio Dondelinger, one half of the Viking Raiders, Ivar makes his way to the ring to do battle. And this could be the first step in Ivar claiming his ultimate prize, the ultimate gold, the treasure that every man seeks, the GWA World's Heavyweight Championship. What an opportunity for this young man as well. I mean, this this is one of the biggest opportunities for many, many of these guys here in Global Wrestling Alliance. I mean, essentially, this, this is uh, a three-match series that you're going to need to win in order to claim the vacant World Heavyweight Championship for yourself. A four-man battle royal, a main event match at the end of the night, and then finally the championship match at Star Spangled Beatdown. So whomever is going to come away as the new world's champion when all this is said and done is definitely going to have earned it. making his way down to the ring now with a huge opportunity himself but all alone here tonight representing high energy this is Willie Jones two weeks ago here on Supercharged Willie Jones and his tag team partner Derek Wright have uh, fired their manager and in turn the homestead came crumbling down around the feet of Don Holmes. Uh, I don't believe anyone here in Global Wrestling Alliance 
has heard from Mr. Holmes uh, since that night. And now, here two weeks later, Willie Jones has an opportunity to try to become the new Global Wrestling Alliance Heavyweight Champion of the World. Well, who is going to join these three men? Sergio obviously is not going to be able to make it out here. Oh my! What a replacement this is! Big Bubba Mason has been added to this four-man over-the-top battle royal, replacing the now-injured Sergio Dondalingar after he was assaulted backstage, driven through a table, hit in the head with a steel chair by Pitbull Luther Isaac. Luther Isaac, has, may have, I mean, he, he has just cost Sergio Dondalinger a shot at becoming the new world's heavyweight champion there's going to be some hell to pay there I guarantee you that we're about to get this four man battle royal underway the bell sounds and Ivar with a stiff kick right to the face of Gavin Briggs and now Bubba Mason with Ivar Ivar using the elbows to break that up and Willie Jones now with Gavin Briggs. Briggs now in the corner. And Jones now trying to eliminate Briggs. But Jones just got kicked in the face by Ivar. And high drop kick by Gavin Briggs. German suplex by Ivar to Gavin Briggs. Splash by Ivar to Willie Jones. And now, big Bubba Mason. Look at the strength picking up Ivar. And Ivar's fighting out of it. And now he kicks uh, Bubba Mason right in the face. And Ivar on the middle rope turned his back on Briggs. Thought he had really paid for it, but uh, Gavin Briggs just, uh, he just got kicked in the face as well. And... Willie Jones now with a senton, a couple of them now, on Bubba Mason. And Briggs now trying to grapple with Ivar and gets kicked in the face again. Willie Jones with a sunset bomb on Bubba Mason. German suplex to Gavin Briggs. And Ivar swinging for the fences on Willie Jones and Jones now well, he had Briggs hooked up. And Bubba Mason and Ivar hooking it up again. And Briggs now to Ivar. Bubba Mason with Willie Jones sends him into the pile. Willie Jones now with the head scissors takedown. DDT to Gavin Briggs by Ivar. And now Bubba Mason hooks up Ivar on the shoulders. Dominator by Big Bubba Mason. And the spinning heel kick by Ivar just dimmed the lights of Bubba Mason. Willie Jones over the top and he could be in trouble. He's able to get back in as Gavin Briggs was busy with Ivar. Ivar now hooks up Briggs, power bomb. Willie Jones now with Bubba Mason. And here's the scoop, trying to eliminate Briggs and now a double team effort. Briggs over the top into the floor, we're down to three. Gavin Briggs eliminated by the duo of Ivar and Bubba Mason, the two biggest men in the match. You get double teamed like that, and I don't think Briggs had any chance of trying to survive that. And now, Bubba Mason. Look at the strength by Big Bubba. 
Big Bubba Mason manhandling a man the size of Ivar. I mean, that is scary power. Ivar fighting back. Willie Jones makes his way back to his feet. Clubbing blow sends Jones back down to the canvas. Bubba Mason gets the elbow in on Ivar. Ivar blocks, kick right to the face yet again. Willie Jones with a couple of blows to Ivar. Ivar fights out of the corner, sends Jones to the corner. And a scoop and a slam by Ivar. Against the ropes and down with the splash, but no water in the pool. And the head scissors takedown by Willie Jones. Jones now with a kick to the midsection. Wrenching the arm up to the top rope and the deep arm drag by Willie Jones. And now Jones right over to Bubba Mason. Back elbow in the face. And a downward spiral by Willie Jones taking a page out of his partner's playbook. And look at this, head scissors, takedown! And Willie Jones on a roll here, DDT to Bubba Mason, turns his attention to Ivar, sunset bomb to Ivar! Which one of these three men is going to meet prime time Charles Thompson? in the main event here tonight for an opportunity to go to Star Spangled Beatdown to fight for the vacant heavyweight championship of the world. Willie Jones over the top nearly gets eliminated. He saves himself. Well, whomever is going to come out victorious in this battle royal, they're gonna have less time to rest against Thompson and they're beating the hell out of each other in this match. Sunset bomb by Jones again. These three men are really taking a lot of punishment here. A vice grip hold there by Bubba Mason. Mason now with the double underhook suplex. He threw him all the way across the damn ring. What power! And look at this, grabs him and throws him over his head. I mean, is there anyone in Global Wrestling Alliance that's stronger than Bubba Mason? I think he's trying to get Ivar over to the corner, but Willie Jones is, is kind of in the way. Now a double team effort by Mason and Jones with the double suplex to Ivar. And now Willie Jones, super kick it! Oh my goodness! The super kick and Bubba Mason tumbled over the top rope to the floor. Can you believe that? Ivar with Willie Jones spikes him with the sit out pile driver. And Ivar now in control of Willie Jones. And look at this strength. Just tossing Jones around. Willie Jones is in trouble. He's hanging onto the top rope with all he's got. Over the top rope into the floor. And Ivar has done it. Well, what an effort by all four of these men. Gavin Briggs was double teamed by Bubba Mason and Ivar. This one was the shocker of the match. The super kick by Willie Jones sending Bubba Mason over the top. And look at this power by Ivar. Willie Jones fought it off as long as he could. But in the end, it's Ivar advancing to the main event of tonight. Well, what a showdown we are going to be prepared for later on tonight. 
A huge victory for Ivar, perhaps the biggest victory of his entire career. But now the main event is set. Later on tonight, Charles Thompson will go one-on-one -on -one with Ivar of the Viking Raiders. But coming up next, young Justin Reed is set to have his second match of the night as he faces off with the Russian gladiator, Alexander Sokolov. Justin Reed, as I had mentioned uh, earlier in the night, pulling double duty here tonight. He was already scheduled to have this matchup before the four-man battle royals were put together in an attempt to uh, crown a new world's champion. And now, here comes the Russian Gladiator. And Alexander Sokolov looks like he's he doesn't even want to deal with it. Uh oh, oh no! And Chris Van Diver is gonna cut him off, and he's gonna send Alexander Sokolov into the ring, and we're gonna have this match. And Chris Van Diver has had an issue with Alexander Sokolov for quite some time. In recent weeks, Alexander Sokolov has challenged Chris Van Diver for the United States Heavyweight Championship. And last week, Sokolov assaulted Chris Van Diver before Van Diver even had a chance to have his match. Perhaps uh, an attempt at a little bit of payback here. He wasn't going to let Alexander Sokolov walk out on this match. And Justin Reed with a cover. One, two, barely a two count for the Lightning Kid. Drops the elbow. I couldn't imagine that Justin Reed would be at 100%. Having competed in that four-man battle royal just a little while ago. Sokolov down with the double stomps right in the chest cavity. A leg drop to the legs. And Sokolov has found himself in control of this match yet again. Sokolov now sends Reed across the ring. Back elbow catches Reed right on the jaw. Here's the cover. One. And only a one for Alexander Sokolov. Drops the elbow right in the back of the head. And again. A third time. And Sokolov just pouring it on here. One. And still only a one, Justin Reed, the ever resilient lightning kid. And twisting neck breaker by Sokolov. Sokolov gets kicked in the gut. And here comes Justin Reed. What did I just say about the resiliency of this kid? Justin Reed firing away as fast as he can throw his hand at his feet. Drops Sokolov with the DDT. And Reed now with the European uppercut. Chop under the throat. And look at Reed go. And super kick. And now Maria. Maria up on the apron. Trying to distract Justin Reed and Reed isn't going to have it. He is focused on his mission. One, two, no. 
I thought we were about to have an upset right there. Justin Reed with that flurry of offense. And then the super kick trips up Sokolov, drops him face first on the canvas. He was going towards the corner. It looked like he was going to try to go for the super lightning leg. Sokolov cuts him off. Twisted Russian suplex by the Russian gladiator. And Justin Reed has just been parked. Reed trying to get back to his feet and Sokolov hits the hit seat, the heat seeker, excuse me, the heat seeker. One, two, three. And just like that, the Russian gladiator Alexander Sokolov is victorious in a match that he didn't even want to participate in. But Chris Van Diver gave him no choice. But in the end, it was Justin Reed taking the heat seeker. And his lights were dimmed. Sokolov is victorious. Alexander Sokolov still looking very impressive. Chris Van Diver's United States Championship reign could be in jeopardy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Arthur Caldwell is here in the building, and we understand that it is now time. Caldwell is going to come out and address you, the audience about the uh, accusation that was made last week. And here he is. Making his way to the ring from Tacoma, Washington. Weighing in at 238 pounds. Pretty boy, Arthur Cole. The three time Global Wrestling Alliance, heavyweight champion of the world. We understand that he's had a very rough week after uh, what was said last week. He's going to sum all of this up and clear the air. Let's send it down to the ring. Let's listen in.
Well, I can't believe this. Arthur Caldwell leaving Global Wrestling Alliance. Well, unfortunately, we can't dwell on that because it's main event time here on Supercharged. Charles Thompson won the first of our two four-man battle royals to make it to this match. He is one step closer to reclaiming the heavyweight championship of the world for his own. I'm still in a bit of shock, however, at the announcement that was just made by Arthur Caldwell. I almost can't imagine Global Wrestling Alliance without him. It's an unbelievable situation. And his opponent representing the Viking Raiders from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 305 pounds. And here comes Charles Thompson's opponent. Uh, perhaps uh, an unlikely combatant here in this matchup, being more of a tag team specialist. But Ivar looked extremely impressive in the second of our four man over the top battle royals. Victorious in that match to make it here. And if he can gain the victory over Charles Thompson here in this match, in our main event of Supercharged, he will be going to Star Spangled Beatdown to fight for the heavyweight championship of the world. High stakes in this matchup. And here we go. They lock up center of the ring and Thompson sends Ivar to the corner. Forearm shot right on the jaw. And Ivar able to escape that with a stiff kick to the spine. Ivar, a big, big man, but as agile as a cruiserweight. Down with a splash. Cover. One, two, and right there, one second away of Ivar going to Star Spangled Beatdown. Elbow by Thompson in the bread basket. Thompson now headlock and he, he just punched him right in the face, right on the bridge of the nose. Look at that strength by Charles Thompson. Are you kidding me? And prime time wants this one bad. So bad he can taste it. Thompson now pouring it on to Ivar. Now, cover. One, two, no. No, very close, and Thompson wants a faster count. He wants to get this one over with. He wants to seal the deal. He wants to punch his ticket to Star Spangled Beatdown. Headbutt by Ivar to break up the suplex and kick right on the money. And Ivar is going to be fighting with everything he's got. Opportunities like this don't come very often. Ivar hooks up Thompson. Out of the corner with the running bulldog. And Ivar on the middle rope. And a splash by Ivar. That's got to be all. One. No, only a one. A one, and Ivar couldn't believe it. I can't believe it. These people can't believe it. 
Ivar now against throws it down with another splash. And Ivar against it. He's going to try to flatten him like a pancake. One. And still only a one. Are you kidding? What does Ivar have to do? Ivar now with the headbutt sends Thompson back to the canvas. Thompson right back to his feet in the clothesline. Another one. And Thompson just gained his ninth win here. Snap power slam. And wraps up the arm forearm shot by Ivar. Spinning hail tag. Cover center of the ring. It's over. One, two, no. The official says only two, but Ivar wanted three. A knee shot right to the temple of Ivar. And Ivar swinging for the fences. Cut off by Thompson. And look at, look at Thompson having just beat and pummel Ivar into submission. Down across the shoulder joint. Thompson with the uppercut. Thompson now, is he, was he biting Ivar? If he was biting him, I mean, Charles Thompson literally pulling out all the stops here, whatever it takes. Cho he's choking him, referee, hello. And Thompson now has regained control of this matchup. And now ripping, tearing at the knee joints, the hamstrings. Ivar with the block, the kick. Ivar with a couple of shots. Thompson on the ropes. Scooping the slam into the ropes. Couldn't try to get at his feet and legs under him to break his fall. And Ivar sending Thompson to the buckle. And clothesline running Bulldog center of the ring. And drops the elbow right into the stationum. Ivar starting to gain the momentum back. Trying to end this match. Back to the corner. Now, where the where the hell's Ivar going? Well, he's thinking better of that, but full head of steam. Right back into the center of the ring with a bulldog. And Thompson, Thompson finally breaks up that onslaught with that kick to the face. And look at this. Windmill cutter to Ivar by Charles Thompson. And that just cut Ivar off. Ivar was on a roll like a runaway freight train. He ran into the brick wall that was Charles Thompson and now the modified camel clutch. Thompson rearing back, ripping and tearing at the neck and the back of Ivar. And Ivar, Ivar picks the ankle, picks the leg. Knee by Thompson. Sending Ivar right back to the canvas. And Thompson's measuring him. Kick to the midsection. He's going to try to hook him up. Look at this. Power bomb. The cover. One, two, three. And what a match. But with this right here, the strength, the power, the power bomb. And Charles Thompson has punched his ticket to Star Spangled Beatdown. Here is your winner, Ron Time, Charles Thompson. Charles Thompson is going to Star Spangled Beatdown. Who will join him? Find out. Join us next week to find out.